What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video where unboxing season, tech season, and gaming season just won't end. Today we're gonna be unboxing the Xbox Series S as well as the Xbox Series X. Let's go for it. Oh my gosh. Now up until this point, I've only seen dummy units of the Series S, but this is the official unboxing. Oh, 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 it's the unboxing that just doesn't stop. Well, hold on, I guess I can. Oh, this is magical. Series S. So I'm just kind of taking a look at the official packaging. It looks really good. Power your dreams. We've got all types of games on the back. Yeah, I'm excited to see the white control. I um, I may or may not have already, you know, experienced the Series X, but this is all new to me and this is exciting. So let's go. That tricked me. I got tricked. <laughs> oh no! Oh gosh, I have... I have done a terrible thing. There's another sticky here. I've made a huge mistake. Let's pretend like that didn't happen. Nothing that tape can't fix. A lot of stickies here. They make it so easy to open and I somehow still mess it up. Xbox. Oh my gosh. This is so small. Comes in this nice little wrapped package number where it says power your dreams. This is so small. Oh my gosh. All right, so we've got some instructions here. Connect the power cord. That's great, that's great. It's all good news. Oh, secret compartment with all the cords. Got the power cable. We have the HDMI high speed. So it's very important so that you can get that 120. We have, oh, oh, the controller. Controller time. Batteries included. Nice. It's like I've never unboxed anything before. Oh my gosh, all right. This is incredible. Even if I'm using the Series X, I think that this is gonna be my go-to controller because it's beautiful. Buttons, We've got the USB-C up here. We have the uh, Kinect so that you can pair it to your console. On the triggers, it has kind of like a textured feel to it. Headphone jack. The new Xbox controllers now also have the new share option where if you want to share your content, you just press this button and it'll bring up a bunch of different options so that you can easily share it. So that's a pretty cool new feature. I love it. It's beautiful. I'm gonna put you off to the side. It's so small. I don't even, it's, oh, it's like a loaf of bread. All right, here we go. Power your dreams. Oh my gosh. It's actually not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's like a little heavy, but not that heavy. Compared to all the other consoles I've been picking up, this is a small boy or girl. All right, so here it is, the official Xbox Series S. We have the power button, we've got the pairing button, and we have the USB type A. In the back, we've got the ethernet connect, we've got two USB type A, HDMI out, here's where you can put the storage expansion, and the power. So we do have 120 frames per second, it does have 512 gig solid state drive, we do have HDR as well. Now obviously this doesn't have a disc, so this is gonna be more so if you do have the Game Pass or if you do own the digital versions of games. Now the storage expansion card might be a good idea and you also still can use your older hard drives as long as they are able to connect with the USB type A. So you have a lot of options. I love it, I'm a huge fan. A lot of people were upset that it was only 512 gigs, but I think you can adapt. There's there's other options, and for this price, as well as the compact nature of it, I love it. Should we open the Xbox Series X? Oh boy, beefy boy. Let's open up the Series X. I'm gonna do a little bit of a better job this time. Well, no promises, I'm already on the wrong side. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh no. 
know. All right, we're going to move this. The box is a good representation of the look of the Series X. It's so nice. I'm so excited. All right, are you guys ready for some 4K 120 gaming as well as 8K HDR as well as one terabyte solid state drive? Because I am. Let's open it up. Oh, Halo in the back. One day we will play Halo. I'm glad these have easy pull tabs. I haven't even had to use my weapon. I mean my knife. Let's just take a look at the box first. Okay, so here on the front, we obviously have the top of the console, love it. Here we have what's inside the box, the console, the controller, all of the uh, specs, what makes it new, what makes it exciting. Oh, and on the back, Halo. I'll see you soon. Now we can open it up. <gasps> so I haven't seen the official inside of the packaging. I have seen, you know, the prototype unit. I've seen the packaging of a Xbox Series X refrigerator. But this is my first time. It's so nicely packaged. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, it was a little bit heavier. I gotta stand up. Come on out, you're mine now. Welcome home. Nice little tag. Keep you. Oh my gosh. Controller, cords. We need to give this the proper unboxing. This feels like I'm opening a, like a Christmas present. Easy pull tab. Oh, it says Xbox Series X. The one I have now just says like prototype. Oh my God. It's here. It's officially here. It doesn't really, it doesn't really smell like anything. All right, so here it is, the Xbox Series X. Now, I've been very fortunate that I have had a uh, pre-release unit for the past month. I've done a bunch of videos about it, but something about unboxing the official one and knowing that this is mine. Look, I'm gonna spend the next, what, like, I don't even know how many years with this console, and I'm excited. So in the back we have the two USB type A, we have the ethernet, we have the HDMI out. This does not have HDMI in. I know a lot of people were asking. The other older consoles do have HDMI in, but this only has HDMI out. We have the power as well as the storage expansion. Now this does have one terabyte of solid state drive, but you know, these games are massive, updates are massive. I think Warzone alone and Call of Duty was basically like one terabyte. So like the Xbox Series S, if you do want to get some more space, you can get the Seagate storage expansion or you can use your older hard drives if they are compatible and if they work with the uh, USB type A. Okay, I love you. You go right here. And once again, we have the power cable and the HDMI, which is the ultra high speed. So it's the HDMI 2.1 which obviously allows for the uh, support for the 4K 120 as well as the you know 8K HDR. So, very important. I never realized the importance of high-speed cables until you accidentally use a slow one and it doesn't work. It's minor, but it's huge. Okay, onto the controller. So once again, it's the new controller. It does have a more premium feel to it, like the textured triggers, the buttons, just the overall feel just feels better. I use the Xbox Elite controller a lot and this has definitely a little bit more of a premium feeling. The share button, once again, is huge. I am so incredible at gaming that I'm just constantly <laughs> sharing all of my clips. Um, okay, I'm, I'm like, a, I'm a subpar gamer. Anyway, the new share button makes it a lot easier to do that. Once again, we have USB-C, we have the pair button. We've got the headphone jack down here, um, as well as, you know, where you can put the batteries. Very important. <gasps> oh my gosh. I think that no matter what, the Series S white controller is gonna be my go-to controller. So let's let's put these babies up here. <gasps> oh my gosh, the gang's all here. Does it go this way or the other way? Does it go this way? So it does. 
It also has these nice little rubber feet on the bottom of the console, so it's like a nice little smooth cushiony feel when you set it down. Also, it allows for better ventilation underneath it. Same goes for the Series um, X. We have this nice little circular round cushiony number, so helps with the ventilation. I'm so happy. So to me, gaming has been a huge part of my life for 20 years. I played with my dad, I played with my sisters. My sister and I kind of bonded over gaming and you know, a decade ago I was sitting at my parents' house playing my little Xbox and I never thought that there would be a day where I'm sitting here being able to talk about and make content about what I love. So I just wanna say a shout out to Microsoft and Xbox for being so incredible and sending me these review units. Working with them has been honestly a dream and I just can't believe it. Like I'm gonna tear up. This is just a very magical experience. I'm tearing up the emotions. Also this year has been an insanely crazy time for so many of us and I kind of rediscovered my love for gaming because I had a lot more time and it kind of brought me so much closer to like my friends and my family. And I actually think that gaming kept me sane during these absolutely insane times. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you again soon for some more content. Which one are you guys going with? Let me know in the comments.